engineers at the University of Hong Kong has been working extremely hard to get us something that we've been missing for quite some time now. If you're thinking legs, then that's not the answer. It's actually finding a way to make us be able to smell in VR. Now, two ways they chose to accomplish this. The first is by putting an interface at the top of your lip or your upper lip. You put an interface right there. The second is a face mask that goes around your mouth and nose. Now, both of them use the same techniques to accomplish the smell. They have a mixture of candle wax, different fragrances that is then heated to different intensities and that can get you the desired smell you're looking for. So both of these come with about, let's say 30 cents or 30 different fragrances with that. When you mix those fragrances at different intensities, then it gives you the abilities to now have over a thousand different fragrances and different smells. Now, I'm someone who wants let's just say in the workplace or wherever it may be if someone has on very strong sense then it can really affect me so i'm wondering if they're taking that into account as well that not everyone interprets sense the same way sense could be debilitating for many people especially when it's the wrong mixture how will they include this into their process very interested to know but i still consider this not very practical. Another thought I've heard was a drone floating above you and let's just say you walk under a waterfall, the drone kind of spit water on you. Uh, I don't like that either. Um, in fact, I don't really care about smelling VR. Just give me legs, make it a little bit more realistic. If you want to give me a suit, you know, like the three body problem, give me a three body problem suit, you know, and I think I'll be good from there. Anyway, smelling VR, I don't know about that but it could be interesting.